Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here with another bite-sized breakdown for you. Now, the round we're going to be looking at today is actually a timeout. Uh, I'm just going to just sit here and analyse the timeout. Hey, got ya. No, what we're actually going to be looking at as we speed through this timeout is we're going to take a look at the key round from the Vertus Pro Complexity game. This was the deciding map of their series. We're here on Overpass. Now, ask yourselves a question. Have you ever seen a key clutch, right? And you're, and you're sat there, you're watching the clutch, you're in the moment, you're feeling the tension, and you think to yourself, how did we get here? Probably not, because you're probably a normal person. But me, I'm a thinking man. So I'm going to analyse the round up until the NATO suffix 1v2 clutch. Now, the first thing that we're going to look at is we're going to see what the setup is looking like. Uh, so we'll just grab the map out and we'll hit zoom on that. Now, what you can see shaking out here, as we will pause when we get to about here. Now, this is the setup that is going to be essentially held for the rest of the round. Um, the CTs don't do a lot of rotating here. It's uh, a vital round where they haven't got the best of buys. Let's see if we can just show that for you. As you can see, not got the best of buys, not got all the utility they'd possibly like. So the CTs have to take some risks here. Now, risks can be taken in a couple of different ways. One of the ways that you might consider as sort of the usual way to take risks is to push. Just grab some SMGs, throw some flashbangs, go rushing down them terrorists. Not the smartest manoeuvre to use against a team like Virtus Pro, who love to play super slow counter-strike on their terrorist side. They are going to sit on sweaty angles and hold for you for about a minute and 30 of the round. And then they'll group up and do something with 20 seconds left. So what Complexity are doing here is they're kind of playing on the tendencies from Virtus Pro. So what they're going to do is they're going to set up a pretty passive setup. What this passive setup will be is we're going to have Poison out towards Long. NATO Suffix. Oh, hang on. There we go. NATO Suffix and Blame F are going to be sat in Connector. And as you can see, they put Blame F on a bit of a sweaty boost. Essa Tag and JKS are here holding B. And they are the dedicated B players. And then we've got Poison. There's your boy at Long. One day I will learn how to use the numbers and switch to people properly. Now, we're going to stick with Poison for now because he's going to be his first point of contact. As you can see, Virtus Pro doing Virtus Pro things. They've got Kicker and Jame out to long, taking some map control. They've got Sanji holding passive in connector. He's literally sat at the bottom of the stairs. Your Kinder and Buster sat outside A, holding both this angle and this angle between them. They're actually boosting on each other's heads right now. Now, what we see is we see long control starting to get taken. And uh, we're going to get a key little little duel happening here. So as you can see, James already sprinting off back towards... Uh... That's unfortunate for Poison. Uh, not much you can do there. He's essentially been told to play a one and done angle, I think, here. Um, he's got no support from his teammates. As you can see, he's basically only on long for information more than anything else. And I think the fact that he gets dueled in a 1v1... Poison had previously been jump peeking this corner and had seen two players on long, but no more. I think Poison calls this as not the brunt of the attack and complexity take a gamble here. All right, where are we going next? There we go. Here's where we're going next. Right, so now next we jump to Blame F. This is where the next key kill is going to come in. As you can see, Virtus Pro is starting to group up back towards Monster, ready for the hit. Kicker is going to look for a backstab through Connector. Now, this is a really, really key kill that Blame F is about to get. Just wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bam! There it is. Now, the reason this is such a key kill is because Complexity can now, with some degree of confidence, know that there's no backstab coming. Now, if we just switch to... Let's have a look at Esetag here. And as we see, the brunt of the... Now... We've traded down into a 2v2, right? That is, this is the moment in which the kill from Blame F in Connector becomes super vital because he's basically, they've seen four people pushing Monster. He knows he's killed one on the backstab. This is a straightforward 2v2 clutch. Two on the site, two coming to retake the site, and they're both coming together. Now, what we'll see here is we're going to see Blame F look to try and get a quick angle on the I like the attempt to get a quick angle on short before they can put the bond down, before they can set up. CSGO is very much a timing game. 
And I think one of the key things you're consistently looking to do in Counter-Strike is to catch timings when the other team are unprepared. A great time to do that is before they plant the bomb. They're trying to get set up on the site and figure out their post plant. Um, another time is when they're about to try and push onto a site. So let's say you're going for a backstab and you hear loads of smokes and flashes go over. You know that's a good time to backstab because people are not going to be ready for you. And that's just sort of the principle that Blameth is applying here. Now, obviously short's not an option. Blameth and NATO Sapix, they don't mess about here. They full man mode it. Get ready, just charging through. Right, right, right. Hang on, hang on. We gotta do we gotta do that a little better. Right, Jesus Christ. I can't believe we finally got back. Obviously, I tried to go back a couple of deaths on the demo viewer. So uh, it, it had a stroke and took about 45 minutes to do so. Thanks, Valve. Anyway. Right, anyway, I thought I could free cam this. I was going to give you an over the head view, but apparently the demo viewer is not letting me free cam. So we'll just take a look at this. Don't blame it. Now, as you can see here, James can't see NATO suffix. But Sanji is going to see him and is going to get murdered by him. That wasn't very clear, but live with it. Now, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of Jane not just kind of swinging here. Um, Jane does what Jane likes to do, which is walk away and play passive, but they know he's on this angle. I, I just, I'm not a big fan of this play from Jane. He's just kind of wandering around aimlessly, like, I don't really I don't really know what James is doing here. Like, it's giving me big, eh? Vibes. I think he could have swung when Sanji dies. Like, Nato Safix, that's probably his best chance to win that duel. He doesn't. He creeps away. And then instead of, like, going away and hiding on short or, or trying to wrap monster or do anything with the clutch, it's like he gets lost on the site and just kind of wanders around until Nato kills him. Now, what I think might have been the case is, I think Jame might have been going to play short and then got the call, the bomb's not planted for you. And he goes, well, shit, I'm halfway through going to short here. What do I do? And so he just ends up losing the clutch. Really well done to uh, Nato uh, and Blame F for getting that clutch done. Just manning up and running into the site before they got set up in the post plant. I like that a lot. Uh, and just in general, I like the way Complexity played that round from a setup point of view. They set up in such a way that was quite passive, so as to expose the way Virtus Pro likes to play very slowly. Um, they could have rotated off of that death on long. It would have been very easy to panic and rotate people up to the A site, but they didn't. They stuck to their guns and, and backed it and decided to make a judgment call that it was going to be a B hit, and it was. Um, so I think big credit to Complexity here for how they played that round, and big credit to Blame F and Neo Sapphics for how they clutched it out at the end. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do, boys and girls. Uh, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and if you don't, don't watch. Bye.